could be more frustrating than wasting time stuck in traffic? But imagine a future where you could read a book while a computer takes the wheel. As Dick Wilson explains, the era of automated driving could be just down the road. Pull up alongside a vehicle of the not-so-distant future and take a good look inside. Researchers call them smart cars, and they could give the phrase backseat driver a whole new meaning. That's the goal, actually, of the automated highway system, is to allow a commuter on his morning commute to sit back and... Um, you know, catch up on work, make phone calls. Scientists at Carnegie Mellon University have been building prototypes of automated driverless vehicles for the last 10 years. Five years ago, the vehicle, dubbed NavLab 2, was a bulky Humvee loaded down with cumbersome computers and camera systems. The gear enabled a computer program to see the road. Today, NavLab 5 is a streamlined package that fits into a sedan, and its systems can help if there's someone at the wheel as well. These vehicles here are designed both for automated steering, like the Humvees, but also to monitor human drivers' performance, to warn them if they're going to get in an accident. So if I start to drift to the inside, it'll trigger an alarm as soon as my wheel, one of the tires, gets outside the lane boundary. The system relies on a small video camera inside the car to see what's going on outside. It looks for lane markers on the highway to help keep the car and the driver on the road. The camera's mounted just below the rear view mirror, and it looks at a trapezoidal shape 20 meters ahead of the vehicle. The image is analyzed by a portable computer workstation mounted inside the car powered by the cigarette lighter. In a test last summer, a NavLab van traveled from Washington to San Diego. More than 98% of the trip was driven and controlled by the computer. Just about everything but the brakes. But there were some bumps in the road. It has trouble in situations that, that human drivers sometimes have trouble in also. The one, one of the most difficult situations is a rainy night with oncoming headlights, sort of blinding you because of the reflections off the roadway. Researchers expect it will be another 10 years or so before they get all the bugs worked out of an automated driving system, but the accident warning program could be added to existing vehicles within two years, initially to trucks, which researchers say have a high accident rate. One in four heavy trucks are involved in this kind of accident within their operational lifetime. So, so it, it would be a monetary win for trucking companies if we could sell it for $2,000. The goal is to make the highways a little safer by keeping an extra eye on the road and one day two hands off the wheel. Dick Wilson, CNN, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.